Hello, Calculus Kids. This is Mr. Bean. Today's lesson is going to be a really fast, easy one because we are just reviewing everything we've done this unit on taking an antiderivative. So before, in all each of these lessons, you were basically given and told how to take the antiderivative, like with all of these different areas that we would focus in on. U substitution, this regular power rule, trigonometry, inverse trig, and you go ahead and write these down as we're going. BC students need to also cover these things. Uh, AB students, you just need to write this. Don't even worry about these over here. Completely cross those off. If you're an AB student, don't even worry about that. So this lesson is taking each of these and you have to figure out which technique to use to take the antiderivative. For example, if you have a problem that would require long division, on the AP exam, they're going to give you this problem. Maybe it's problem number 17 on a multiple choice. There's no way they're going to say on the problem itself, hey, and a hint is to use long division. Okay, they're not doing that. You have to look at the problem and identify what to do. So that's what this lesson is focused on. I'm gonna give you a bunch of these types of problems and you have to zero in on what is the strategy I'm going to use? What's my technique that I'm going to use to apply to take the antiderivative, okay? So that's it. So if, if you don't have all these written down yet, go ahead and pause this video so you get them written down. If you have them written down, then we're done because I'm not gonna go through and reteach you everything on this. You have that in your previous notes. So uh, rock that mastery check and that's it for unit six. We're all finished. I'll see you back on our next unit, unit seven.